Uh, okay. Oh, nice. uh, All right, there we go. It's so meta. Right, it's so that's, meta. I don't totally. know. That's so meta. I, is that some sort of? I don't fucking know. Thing. These are apparently these guys apparently are geekier than us. I didn't know there was such a thing. Apparently so. So okay. So you got you got you conducting the interview. You All wanted right. to chat with us. You guys are wearing like waistcoats, though. I mean, what's up the, the deal with that? We're wearing what? Waistcoats. I believe they're called vests. Vests Best in this country. Waistcoat. Waist okay. Petticoat. I think you're trying to say. A waistcoat. They call them in England. Oh, part of me. So and we invented the language. So you know. Really? My, You're not my, using hyperbole here, are you? All right, cool. Okay. All right, just want to interview each other. Jay and Matt, right? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> we're here with Jay and Matt, the conventioneers. You can catch them on Byte TV. Uh, we're standing out front of Fan Expo. For some reason, we're not inside Fan Expo. Can you explain that? Well, it goes back to Matt beating up a child at Anime North 2000. Oh, I didn't actually beat up no, the child. No, but that's the rumor. That's is, what they say. Yeah, so it was what? Anime North 2006. So it's two years removed. That happened. We went there. We did our show. Uh, there was this incident where this kid wanted to be on the show, so Matt kind of jumped on him a little bit. We slow moed it, and we, like, you know, and that sound, sound effect. Effects. When you hit the microphone like this, it makes, uh, it makes noises. And then after that, everyone hated Matt, and uh, uh, places wouldn't let us in. Last year, we came to Fan Expo, and uh, they gave us press passes under Byte Television, which is who we work for, and then they tried to apprehend myself on the floor and remove us. Apprehend? Yeah, yeah, they just kind of said, get, get out of here. But then I, I kind of laid low. You did, didn't you? under the radar. You left me yep. like I nobody's ran business. I ran away. You I ran away. Like so you're the conventioner ninja basically I am I, I lay low and one particular thing you guys did remember that, that thing we just off? said about hitting the kid no no but like at fan expo oh no they just they they, they live in their comic con world so well, okay here's the deal our show takes a light hearted look at the world of uh, comics and anime and video games and whatever we geek out we're geeks you guys are clearly clearly geeks clearly. Uh, so we love geeks and we go around and people are hoping that they just you know, what's not to love about geeks what's not to love about these two guys what's not to love about us well me a little bit a little bit <laughs> we're very similar we are no no yeah. he meant us oh you yeah. yes you guys are very similar no he meant you, you and I you normally look the same uh, yeah that was uh, that was bad that fell apart all right all right Continue. um why so else would you why, like to I, I want to know why you guys like n never seem to like never seem to know when to stop. When is that, that line that you know that that that, that should not be crossed? Well, maybe moral shit. Code? There's a line. I have no moral code. I just kind of run. I see the line and I run past it. Yeah. But you make people cry. Who cries? Who cries? Well, okay. I bet you that kid you beat up cried. You, you, you almost made people cry. Yes. Yes. I'll give you that. Emotionally, not physically. I'm yeah, not a very big guy. You did. You did kind of hit that kid. I did. But, yeah, but it was fake. But he didn't cry. No, he didn't. His mom was actually right there beside him, and she uh, she was like, "Hey, when's this going to be on TV?" It was quite funny because she came up to me afterwards, like, "When's this going to be on TV? Is it going to be on?" I'm like, "Yeah, absolutely." So, and she signed off. It was great. See, I, I have my own personal like, you know, because I saw you guys cover cover the uh, the hobby show. Yeah, when I uh, yeah. when I hopped into the uh, the fountain there, the little the little pool. Do you like when he takes his clothes off? Yeah. Yeah. I think, well, the, yeah, no, don't, don't actually don't mention that no? on TV. No. What's that's that? Not. What's that? What should I mention? Oh, the rock band. Oh, thing. the rock band. No, no, band. that's maybe not good. Yeah, Alex is actually at his core. He's a he's a hardcore rocker at his soul, but uh, he just wants to just at night. He's mild mannered, Alex, during the day, but at night, just can't stop the man. That's the that's problem. A rock band event that you know at a bar, Rocky Raccoons, we go to, and I, I sort of removed some clothing as I was singing. And tell me, tell us more about this rock. Band. Yeah, tell us more about yes. Rocky Raccoons. The Alex Daltrey experience. The Alex I Daltrey experience. Exactly. Getting into the mix here. I, it was a it was a moment of of of, of poor Fun. judgment. No poor judgment. No no removing clothes. I wasn't serious about tell us more. <laughs> I wasn't serious. We don't we don't really want. We're to okay. Know. Unless you want to. No, 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 no. No, I, I trust me, you want to leave it of just a visual, uh, like a mind I'm image, sure and that's about it. You. I would, I probably would. <laughs> I feel a certain attraction here. Uh, but nonetheless, so, so... What are your plans for the rest of the day, then? We, here's what we've done today. We've done the Conventioneers Convention at Fan Expo. We got, like, free pop and chips and food. It's like a PCP party in high school over there. Along with that, we're conducting a contest for the ultimate Conventioneers fan. So we're auditioning people, oh, like Canadian Idol type of thing. And then the person who we deem as the ultimate Conventioneers fan gets to come on and co-host our show with us for an episode. That's fantastic. Yep. Great, right on. So, if anybody out there thinks they are the Ultimate Convention News fan, give these guys a call. Come on down, try out. I'd to be here now.
<laughs> Give them a call and then come down right now at this very second. Winners already been selected. All right, then don't bother. And uh, that'll be available. If you won, you'll be on TV soon. Congratulations to you. <laughs> so, again, good time. I was rolling with the punches. Yeah, Put him for with this one. I like this one. I also like how you're wearing your buttons as nipples like I am. Who, who, who else could possibly be the ultimate conventioneers fan? You can go over there and you can talk about that. I will. I uh, might. I might indeed. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thanks a lot, guys. Really appreciate you taking the time to talk to us. Cool. Good Thank luck you. with the rest of the day. Don't yeah, get kicked I'm, out. I'm, I'm, they're very nice. I'm, I'm, yeah, that, I'm, I'm, weird? I'm surprised. Yeah, yeah, that's that's like, weird. Not too bad. No. Not too bad. I disagree completely. Okay, anyway, but have a great day, guys, and enjoy the rest of the convention. Nice meeting you guys. Cheers.